When I hear the word game changer within our sector, we've got a very broad, diverse application process in terms of our projects. So whether it's a hybrid system or generator integrated system or it's a solar standalone solar system, many of, of the competitors within our sector only do one or the other. We do a broad range of products, so whatever the power solution that is required, we can, we can cater for it. AME Power Solutions was started in 2018. The typical issue is business interruption. We have farmers, for instance, that cannot run their, their operations on generators. It's not cost effective anymore. Initially, it was a situation of tariff increases, but with the power interruptions to run a generator at five rand, six rand a kilowatt hour is not feasible for, for large farming operations. So what we're finding is more than just installing solar panels, we are installing a lot of storage solutions where containerized lithium battery banks and we take farms completely off grid. The farming community is generally uh, upset with the availability of power for their, their operations. So they are, are moving more and more towards not feeding back into the grid, not necessarily doing banking or wheeling of energy rather storing the energy and installing containerized solutions, battery solutions and integrating large generators and slowly but surely moving off the grid. In the past, small-scale farmers couldn't necessarily afford solar systems for their, their farms and their operations, but their, their intensive cool rooms and, and pack houses and so forth have created a need for larger solar installations. We found that uh, substandard and unethical uh, installation companies, so any, anyone who had a brother-in-law that was an electrician or a plumber is now a solar expert. Um, when we started in this industry 15 years ago, there were, I would say, seven reputable companies. There's about 7,000 now. You get what you pay for, so the cheaper the, the, the system is, doesn't necessarily mean that you are getting a good quality system. And the repercussion of that is that you end up paying more than double because you have to then correct the system. In the renewable energy sector, the skills transfer and training of, of local people is going to be critical. A number of our larger projects um, involve local community and job creation. My favourite projects is actually rural electrification in terms of schools and clinics and community-based projects where we provide power for learners that, uh, and extend their learning hours and so forth. And I think South Africa still has a major, major lack of power supply to rural communities. The rural community is largely dependent on the leaders within that community, uh, where we've installed systems at schools. And you can see if the grass is cut and maybe the building isn't in great shape, but they try and keep it painted and they look after it and that creates ownership. Uh, the local community looks after those solar panels. You've got micro and macro economic impact on that because obviously if you have a school of 200 kids and 10% are going to actually get a decent education and contribute to the economy and possibly get a bursary and go to university or go to a college, uh, you've made a huge impact within the region.